everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel. For today's timeless message that I recorded on May 30th, 2023, I'll be using the Illustrated Bestiary Oracle Cards by Maya Toll. And there's the front of that box cover there. Absolutely stunning, beautiful cards. I love this deck so much. And I also have another herbiary one that she does as well that I used for yesterday's message. So if you're curious about that, go ahead and check it out. All right, and as I always do off camera, I'm cutting and I'm shuffling my decks and now we're releasing any negative energy that might still be attached to the deck. Divine guidance, spirit guides, peace, love, and light. What do we need to know as the All Signs Collective timeless message for whenever those people that need to hear it find it and it fell right out for us today. Well, look at this card. This is adorable. So it's called Work Together and it's the house mouse, okay? So there you go. Look at that fun and cheeky image. It appears to be several mice here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six mice here in the image getting into trouble it appears or or just uh getting into the jar there um of almonds okay so again as i always mention in every single video to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities around you in your world in you know that is happening in your space okay so if you see mice okay and um, you're seeing mice reoccurring all the time you notice these little guys in your life every single day please know there's additional messages for you that spirits and the universe are trying to get across and um not only that, but there could be a practical message as well, all right? If you do not like having mice in your space, um, I would encourage you to look at your options of how you, you know, remove these critters from your home and your environment. I'm getting garage. I've got an infestation in the garage. I just found a nest full of babies. What do I do? Um, you know, certainly it is the time of year for nesting animals, all right? And there are options on how to take care of these, you know, um, vermin if you if they are truly vermin to you in your life, okay? And um, so it could be speaking, this could be a message just for that individual that seems to have some kind of mouse infestation in the garage. You're being encouraged to just go out and, and look at your resources have a conversation with an exterminator if that is truly what you'd like to do. Um, there are other routes if you'd like to, you know, keep the animals intact and alive. There are live traps. You can trap any animal and release them out into another location and protect their, you know, lives if that is something that you want to do. There are other options as well. So um, just getting that card off there specifically for those that are kind of dealing with uh, vermin or or believed to you know have titled them vermin in their because they don't want them in their home which is completely fine there's nothing wrong with not wanting bugs you know or small critters in our homes okay um so you're encouraged to go out and see what choices you have for removing them from your space <clears throat> but otherwise you know there could be messages here for somebody that has a pet mouse or loves mice um, you know, that's certainly, I don't know why I get three blind mice. Okay. So if that, you know, nursery rhyme song means anything to you, you know, three blind mice, you know, that whole spiel, there could be a message here for you. Um, indeed. Okay. So, but let's, let's see how we can work together because in this image here, it's, you know, all these mice are working together to get, you know, the prize, the food prize here. So, how can we learn from the house mouse about working together? So I'm going to go into the booklet uh, message as I always do. All right. And I'm reading word for word, uh, you know, of Maya Tolls out of her booklet. And these are her words, not my words. Okay. I'm giving credit where credit is due. So please know that uh, these are her words. Anything additionally, I would add in little bits and pieces and here and there are going to either be intuitive downloaded messages that are only going to apply to certain individuals 
and or I might sprinkle in advice or pointers or tips or uh, you know different things that comments that from I take from my own life experience as I'm commenting on some of these things in the cards and that and you're gonna take whatever resonates and leave the rest okay and it may never resonate because all of our life paths can be so incredibly different that one person's life experience will never resonate with another person's life experience. So keep that in mind, intelligent human beings that you are, okay? And only choose what hits the intuition and um, really makes sense to you, all right? So house mouse. Mouse is unobtrusive, slipping between cracks and scurrying behind walls. We notice her by the destruction she leaves behind. Chewed wires and ruined books, Food made and edible to us by her munching, okay? Mouse churns through paper at an enviable rate, destroying in hours what it took years to create. That's because Mouse rarely goes it alone. She has help. Mouse breeds prolifically, as we know, okay? Where there is one, there are sure to be more, all right? And, and that's that message, too, um, for that individual that seems to have an infestation in the garage, um, you've got to find the source, all right? So mice typically, if there's one, there's gonna be more. And if you haven't found that nest, um, there's going to be more coming from that in those nesting areas as well. So be really sure that you are, you know, gathering up and, and trapping or, or um, exterminating you know, the full lot, so you do not have return of these rodents into your space, okay? Where there is one, there's sure to be more, and once you have not, and once you have not mouse, but mice, it's mind-boggling what havoc these small creatures can wreck, all right? Um, not only are they chewing through things, you know, but I'm getting, um, urine okay so if this is somebody and, and i keep coming back to this individual that has an infestation in their garage you've come across something soaked in urine and that was one of your first um clues that you had some kind of animal infestation so uh you're going to want to discard anything that that had touched because as we know, and animals do, okay, they carry and harbor disease, all right? So it's very important to, you know, clean up after any kind of infestation um, and, and be sure that you've removed all of the infected materials um, out of your uh, immediate areas so that you aren't, you know, exposed to any kind of disease that these animals could be harboring in any shape or form, okay? Um, Especially that urine. I love, I'm getting that strongly icky. Okay. <laughs> Work together, Mouse advises. You don't have to be big to be mighty. And that is absolutely the case. All right. Such small animals can cause so much destruction. All right. As an example here. But also, let's take it in more of a broader sense. All right. So you might find and feel that you're only one person. And how does your message or how does your contribution even matter? You might be in that mindset, okay? But it absolutely does matter. And I'm here to tell you this today because each of us are brought into this physical reality, this physical space to complete learning of lessons, you know, to complete different missions that we've come here to do. So each and everybody's life has meaning, has purpose, regardless of how long they're here, okay? So if you're feeling like, you know, I'm just one person, I'm so small, why would my voice even matter? You're being encouraged to continue with whatever steps that you're taking right now to get to create things and to keep co-creating with spirit in the universe um, to follow that path so that you are, you know, honoring what you came here to do. Or right and um, try to get that that little mindset out of your thoughts or right because those are actually thoughts that are holding you back or right those negative thoughts those fear-based thoughts those 
you know, just thoughts that are holding you back, creating procrastination in your life, creating questioning, uh, you know, questioning what you're doing and what your life's purpose is and that this won't matter. and Why even do it? Stop. Okay. That is not here to help you. Those are negative thoughts and negative patterns of belief that you've got a habit of creating in your mind. You need to stop that now because whatever you're working on is very important, all right? And your voice does matter. It absolutely does. So whatever you're doing and creating, if you need to take a break and recollect your thoughts and, and um, find some additional inspiration, I would gladly encourage you to do that. And, and a lot of ways that we can find new inspiration is stepping away from the project, okay? Giving some space in between the project and allowing some time to just refocus our thoughts. Do some self-care activities, all right? If there's things that you've been putting off for yourself, go focus on that, all right? Put yourself first. And then also... Maybe take some time out for reconnecting, you know, with a friend or a loved one and have a conversation. You know, sometimes spirit works mysteriously in ways that we have a conversation with somebody and, you know, based on what they say, the examples that they use, the word choices that they use, it sparks creativity in our mind, all right? So have a conversation with somebody. And if some sparks are coming from that conversation, write them down immediately or text yourself. You don't want to lose those, you know, magical little bits of opportunities of inspiration, all right? Go for a walk out in nature, you know, go shopping, uh, get out of the house, all right? Go hang out with somebody and meet them for coffee or something. You know, these are just examples. But take a step away from the project with the intent that you're going to return and continue to work on it. But take however long you need to refocus. However, don't make it so long that now you're actually in procrastination land and trying to avoid it. That's not what they're asking you to do, okay? We're asking you know, myself and the universe and spirit here today, for those of you that are, you know, feeling like your voice doesn't matter and the project that you're working on is garbage, let's throw it away and forget it. No, okay? Just take the time that you need, step away from it, regain some clarity, find moments of inspiration, and then intentionally turn back around and work on it again, all right? Because... You're very important and that message that you're working on is very important and somebody needs to hear it. And um, through that production of your message and giving it to the world, you're completing your mission and your purpose, all right? So don't give up on passions. Do not give up on things that bring you joy and happiness and purpose, all right? And if you're having you know, difficulty thinking about some of these things and the reasons why you're being called to step up to the plate and produce something with meaning and value. Take some time away because you are important. You were given this job for a reason, this mission for a reason. It is not too big for you. You were chosen to be the one for very good reason. Do not doubt that. Do not doubt that intuition. Do not doubt that universe and spirit as they gently push you forward. But do take that time to think about things and then return as quickly as you can to the passion and the purpose and the message because you may be one person, but that's all we need, all right? And that is your purpose and your divine mission here on the planet. So please continue on. I thank you so much, everyone, for joining me every single day, for liking and commenting and certainly subscribing. I appreciate you. I appreciate the time that you take out of your own day to come and, and listen to the daily message here. And it is timeless whenever you find it, apply it. And we learn a lot, you know, as a collective from these messages. And we can take bits and pieces and apply it to our life where it resonates. Have a wonderful day. 
Put that best foot forward, be the best human you can be, and remember to join me tomorrow for another Collective Energy reading. Bye-bye.